You know what's the biggest risk you're gonna take? Exactly, taking zero risks because that way you guarantee yourself that you're going to stay in the same place because all progress comes from a place of discomfort. Hey everybody, my name is Odi and welcome back to another great video. Today we're gonna go over risk management because that's something a lot of people have actually confused in their minds. And of course, for a like, a comment, a follow, a subscribe, whatever platform you're seeing this through, it's always highly appreciated. So before we begin, just write down in the comments on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate yourself as far as being a risk taker? Uh, be honest, then uh, hopefully that number is going to change throughout the video. So I speak to a lot of people because of my online business and I uh, hear this often. Uh, you know what? I'm not a risk taker. And uh, I'm going to ask, like, what do you mean? And uh, he's going to explain, I don't like to fail, I don't want to be out of my comfort zone, I don't want to get embarrassed, and all of this stuff. So my answer to this is, so you know that you are risking everything right now, right? And everybody is going to be so confused, so I'm going to explain. When you are taking no risks, all you do is standing still and having the excuse that you are not a risk taker. Uh, and all you do is actually risking your life, your career, your dreams, your family, your future self, everything. Because it's a common phenomenon for somebody to go to get old and look back at his life and realize that he never actually lived because his fear was guiding him. And when fear is in control, then you are not actually uh, making the decisions that make you happy and make you evolve. You're making the decisions that make you comfortable. And nobody has ever succeeded uh, out of his comfort zone. You can name me one person that has succeeded out of his comfort zone, but I don't think you can find him. So uh, let's, uh, let's stay with that. So, you know, I don't blame you. I realize that all of these limiting beliefs have been planted to us since our childhood because our family, the school maybe, always trying to make us avoid mistakes, to try to have a low profile and all of this stuff. But the reality is that you should try to fail as fast as possible try to experiment with as many things as you can so that way you can find your passion quicker because let's say that you want to find what's the sport that is your favorite the best way to do that is actually go out and try a lot of sports because if you just sit in your couch and try to think what sport you like you're never going to try anything you're never going to find anything out so that way you see a lot of people that are like 40 or 50 and that at that age they realize that they were like music is a passion or that business is a passion but I don't say that it's late but it would be a lot better if they realized that when they were 20 and the only reason I didn't realize that is because they were taking no risk you know so I always try to say to people so let's say you're in a dilemma and you are before you decide if you're going to start the business or not so when you see your two options just examine what what's the positive and the negative most of the times the negative on actually doing uh, what you're about to do is just learning and just not working out and trying something different because let's say you want to try a new sport i don't know if i want to go with football so what's the most you can lose if you try football i don't know just uh, go to a training and not like it okay so what's the big deal but what can you lose if you actually were loving football and you never tried it and uh, you never found out that it's your passion. You can lose a life of football. So that should cost you a lot more than actually trying it and be like, oh, okay, I didn't like it. That's the same with business, that's the same with a college. I see a lot of people that actually go to a college that they don't like and they don't go and try something else so they just follow a career path that it's not their own. That's why they don't uh, enjoy their work and uh, they maybe live a life that their parents would like, but not what they would like. So. The advice of this is just try to see what's the worst case scenario. So let's say that you change uh, your college and you go to find something else. What's the worst case scenario? If you don't like the new stuff, just go back to the college. What, what, what's the worst thing that can happen to you? So a lot, of a lot of times, if you actually get your emotions out of the way, just see things clearly, and maybe sometimes it could help you if you um, wrote those things down. So write a list of... Uh, plan A, plan B, and see what's the positive, what's the negative of both of them, and just uh, weigh them out. So most of the time, let's say that you can start a business and you say, okay, so my starting investment could be a thousand bucks. 
And uh, if I try and fail, worst case scenario is going to, I'm, the, I'm going to lose those a thousand dollars. So what? Probably going to lose them in other stuff. But if I didn't try it and it was the best business idea I ever had, maybe I just wasted a life of success for me and uh, all of that just because I didn't want to take risks. So the thing that I want you to take out of this video is that the biggest risk you can take is actually take no risks because that way you're never going to find out what you like, what you enjoy, what you're passionate about and you're just gonna have a mediocre life. And I don't think you want that. I don't want you to have that. So my simple advice, I don't say that because I'm super successful, I'm just saying because I'm implementing that and it's working for me, it's just try it and worst case scenario is that you're not going to like it and just try something new. But most of the people actually lose a lot of time actually thinking if they're going to do it, they never do it and they just uh, waste a life of thinking and never actually trying something. So just go with it. Worst case scenario is that you just not going to like it. Of course, I don't say that whatever uh, case you have, just go with it. Of course, you have some parameters and that's, that's the reason that I say that write the positive and the negative. But if the negative are not so many and the positive are a lot more, if, it's, if it actually works, then just go with it. And worst case scenario is that you don't like it and you just try something else. So I hope you liked this video and of course share it with two of your friends, two people that you want to hear that because all these people that are not risk takers, uh, that's just their excuse to stay in the same place, to never actually try more, to play small, and uh, that's not going to benefit you in your life. So uh, I hope that you enjoyed, and uh, of course, throw down in the comments your one to 10 scale of how much of a risk taker you are. And uh, until the next video, see you and uh, enjoy.